Welcome to the unit family. This unit helps to understand the importance of family and how worthy every second spent with family is. This unit is classified into three reading sections. They are A. The tattered blanket B. My mother C. A letter to your friend Welcome to the reading section, the tattered blanket of the unit family. Overview Let us have a look at the overview. The overview slide consists of three sections, namely introduction, instruction and evaluation. The introduction section is meant to motivate the student to learn the lesson. The instruction section divides the contents of the lesson into four subsections. They are content, communication, constructive components, and enrichment activities. The lesson is covered under content. All the activities pertaining to the four skills of language and their assessment are covered under the sections communication and the constructive components. The enrichment activities are meant to widen the scope of the student's thinking and learning, thereby making him or her a global citizen. The extent of understanding of the module can be assessed by the student under the evaluation section. Let us start the section with a few questions to check your attention. Observe the given two images and attempt the questions given below. What are the differences you observe from both the images? What are these two types of families called? Which type of family do you like the most and why? What is missing in the first image compared to the second image? As we know, a family is a group of people consisting of parents and their children living together as a unit. Usually, we see two types of families in our society. They are nuclear family and joint family. Let us observe the difference between a nuclear family and a joint family. What is a nuclear family? In a nuclear family, father, mother and their children live together as a unit. What is a joint family? In a joint family, many generations like father, mother, grandfather, grandmother, grandchildren, uncle, aunt, etc. all live together happily. The present story the Tattered Blanket is written by Miss Kamala Das. Let us know more about the other. Kamala Das, 1932 to 2009, is the daughter of the famous Malayalam poet. She is an internationally known poet, short story writer, and novelist who writes effortlessly both in English and Malayalam. She has bagged many awards for her literary works. Some of them are Asian Poetry Prize, Kent Award for English Writing from Asian Countries, Asian World Prize, Sahitya Academy Award, and Vailar Ramavarma Sahitya Award. Here in the present story, The Tattered Blanket, the other Kamala Das tries to bring out the diminishing family values in the society. Characters in the story are an old woman, Kamala, a widow and daughter of the old woman, Gopi, son of the old woman. In the beginning, mother lying in an armchair tried to get up from her chair 
on hearing a car sound. Kamla, there is somebody at the gate in a car. Just see who has come. Kamala, her elder daughter Evido, got up forcefully and went to the gate and peered into the darkness. Oh, Gopi, it's great to see you after a long time. Why this sudden unexpected visit? Mother asked Kamala from the veranda. Kamala, who is it at the gate? Gopi said to his mother, Amma, it's me Gopi. There was a meeting in Tiruvananthapuram. I just dropped in on my way back to see you once. Amma asked again in a bit of confusion. Who is it, Kamala? Kamala asked her awkwardly. Amma, why are you so scared? As if you were seeing him for the first time. He is our Gopi. Gopi bent down, took her blessings, held his mother's cheeks and said, Amma, it's me Gopi. Don't you remember me? Gopi, I can't believe it. Kamla, has Gopi's school closed for vacation? Gopi, due to old age, Amma is not able to remember and recognize anybody. But sometimes, she suddenly asks me if you have sent any letters. I always tell Amma that everything is fine with you as I wouldn't dream of making her unhappy. Actually, I got promotion last year and have become so busy since then. I won't get any time to write letters. But why don't you ask at least Vimla to write? Doesn't she get any time to drop one or two letters? What are you mumbling over there, Kamla? I heard somebody coming in a car. Who is it? Amma, I have already told you, it's Gopi. But Gopi is in Delhi, isn't he? Yes, Amma, it's me. I have come from Delhi. I remember. Gopi got married. Whom did he marry? What is his wife's name? Don't you remember, Amma? He is married to Vimla, the eldest daughter of district collector Nambiar. Oh, yes. I forgot. Was there any letter from Gopi today? Yes, Amma, there was. He writes every day. I am terribly upset if I don't get a letter every day. Amma, Gopi knows and he writes us every day. Gopi, see how she talks. You hardly visit us and know nothing about what's going on here. Who is that in the car, Kamla? Amma, it's me, Gopi. I had come to Thiruvananthapuram. On my way back, I dropped in to see you, Amma. Amma, who is your Amma? What is her name? Where does she live? See, brother, this is what the situation of Amma these days. I am really worried how to bring her memory back. Do you know my son? He is in Delhi and he is a government officer. He has Kesri Yoga. He draws a salary of rupees 2,500 per month. Do you know him? Yes, I know him. Then please tell him to send one blanket. It is cold in the morning here. He brought for me a red one when he was studying in Madras. 
it is all tattered now. Tell him to send one red blanket now. He nodded his head and told her that he would convey the message to Gopi. Please don't forget to tell him. It is cold and not good for me. I have been sitting in the chair for a long time. I should stretch out for some time now, as I have pain in the neck. Kamala took her mother in to put her to bed and came back. I understand that you didn't come to see Amma, did you? Delhi is too expensive, as you know. I have a family of four children and cannot make both the ends meet with my salary. I have decided to raise money by selling my share of the family property. My purpose of coming here today is to discuss the same with you. There was an irritation on Kamala's face. I thought you still care us and came to spend some time with us here. But you came to sell your property and go away and won't be seen again. Certainly, sister, but I'll come to see you as and when I get time. It took five years for you to come here. Amma is 83 years now. She may not pull much longer, brother. Smiling feebly, he says, But Amma can't remember who I am. As if you remember Amma. Do you remember Amma? Glossary The meanings of certain words along with their usage in a sentence are shown. Click the audio button to listen to the pronunciation of each word. Futile Huddled Reluctantly Screwing up eyes On toes Mumbling Exasperatedly Tattered Irritation Peer Drop in Scare Awkward Answer the following questions. You can click the answer button to view the answer. Read the following sentences carefully. Drag appropriate word from the box and drop it in the spaces given and click the submit button. Read the following questions and click the words which are similar in meaning to the highlighted words. Let us now learn with examples what a phrase is. A phrase is a group of words that expresses a concept and is used as a unit within a sentence. A phrase does not mandatorily contain subject-verb pair. Observe the given sentence. I have traveled on a wide and clean road. Here, wide and clean road is a group words which together are playing a role of a noun. So we can call them together as a phrase. Let us look, observe another example. I should have called Pavan for the party. Here, should have called is a group words 
which together are playing a role of a verb. So we can call them together as a phrase. Let us see what is a noun phrase. A noun phrase. Noun phrase is a group of words that serve the same purpose as a noun. A noun phrase can be the subject or object of a verb. It can also be the object of a preposition. Observe the example. I love playing in the garden. Here, the group of words playing in the garden or playing a role of a noun. Such phrase is called a noun phrase. Few more examples of noun phrases. Hopes to get the first prize. They tried to solve the problem. Did you enjoy cooking the food? To get the first prize is a noun phrase. To solve the problem is a noun phrase. Cooking the food is a noun phrase. The words within the bracket are given in jumbled form. Type them and form proper noun phrases. And click the submit button. First one is done for you. Noun phrase in a position. An appositive is a noun, a noun phrase or a noun clause which sits next to another noun to rename it or to describe it in another way. The word appositive comes from the Latin for to put near. Let us see a few examples to understand noun phrase in a position better. Rabindranath Tagore is called Gurudev. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913. Sarojini Naidu is popularly known as the Nightingale of India. She wrote many poems in English. Here, two sentences are rewritten as a single sentence using the noun phrase in a position. In the first example, the Gurudev is the noun phrase in a position because it is coming after the main noun Rabindranath Tagore and describing him. In the second example, popularly known as the Nightingale of India is the noun phrase in a position because it is coming after the main noun Sarojini Naidu and describing her. Let us do an activity to understand the noun phrases in a position better. A few sentences are given below. Identify and click the noun phrases in a position. In this section, we will learn to write a paragraph. A paragraph is a series of sentences that are organized and coherent and are all related to a single topic. Let us now see a procedure to write a paragraph. Decide about the main topic of the paragraph. Note down the important points related to the paragraph. Decide about the structure of the paragraph. Start writing the paragraph. A paragraph on how to keep a family tied despite economic pressures is given below. The paragraph is framed using the following hints. Let us now do an activity to check your understanding. Using the hints given below, write a paragraph on your favorite festival. Listening Skills Here is an announcement in a Vijayawada railway station. Listen to it attentively and answer the following questions. Your attention please. Train number 12806 Janmabhumi Express from Sikandrabad to Vishakapatnam via Vijayawada Junction is running late by 20 minutes and is expected to arrive at 13.50 p.m. Your attention please. Train number 18646 East Coast Express from Sikandrabad to Kolkata Howrah Junction via Vishakapatnam Junction is ready for departure from platform number 4.
study skills observe the paragraph written by krishna based on his family timeline now prepare your own family timeline and write a paragraph using the details let us now listen to a few famous quotes a family is a place where minds come in contact with one another if these minds love one another the home will be as beautiful as a flower garden but if these minds get out of harmony with one another it is like a storm that plays havoc with the garden by gautama buddha family is the most important thing in the world by princess diana of wales follow up work take up the following activities collect the photographs of your family members and build a family tree take the help of the reference image talk to your friends about your favorite day with your family take an english newspaper read the news and underline the words which you feel difficult to understand and look up their meaning in the dictionary read a story or news and identify all the noun phrases check your understanding of the lesson by taking up the mock unit test enrichment activities watch the video love your parents from the below link read about rabindranath tagore from the below link situational conversation the section situational conversation is meant to improve the communication skills of the students in this section we will observe how to communicate at a shop store mall etc situational conversation at a stationery shop gopal went to a stationery shop to purchase a few stationery items let us observe the conversation between the shopkeeper and gopal how can i help you my boy i want to purchase a pencil a few white papers and a scale have you got natraj pencils sorry i don't have natraj pencils but have apsara pencils that's okay what is the cost of each pencil Each pencil costs rupees five. How many pencils do you need? Give me one pencil. Do you have white papers? Yes, I do have. How many white papers do you want? I need five papers. What is the cost of each paper? Each paper costs just one rupee, so five papers cost rupees five. I also need a scale. Do you have camel scale? Yo, yeah, I have. Do you want a long scale or short scale? I want a short scale. Sorry, I don't have a short scale in camel, but there is one in apsara. But I want only camel. Okay, no problem. I will get it from other shop. So I have to pay you total rupees ten. Please take it. Thank you. Here is your pencil and the papers. Thank you. Welcome, my boy.